Okay, this is the weekly check of the Hungry Bin. As you can tell, I have a different camera angle today. Oh, look at all those worms. Yeah. see what we have here. I don't remember where I fed. It's obvious that there's a lot of worms up at the top. Hope you don't get seasick. I don't have my tripod set up today, so we're freewheeling it. <laughs> okay, moist. And of course over here is not moist, not as moist. Uh, I don't even remember if I fed them last week. I can't remember. And I didn't have time to look back on the footage that I shot last week. So let's see how this is here. Sorry, couldn't see that. There's a bunch of mites in here. Okay. Let's aerate it. Some. Not quite sure where they're all at. Obviously they were in the center because we saw them, a lot of them. And since I can't remember where I fed them at, but there are many worms here throughout. Don't think I fed them on the side. I don't see any food here on the side unless they ate it all. Maybe I didn't give a feeding last week. I'm not quite sure. Can't remember. I think I did though. Let's check on this side. No. Yeah, fed them something. Probably things that they can't wouldn't be able to get into for a while. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Whatever food scraps we have is what they are fed. So it looks like a lot of uh, avocado skins. There's some banana skins, but not much left of that. Avocado skin. Ah, maybe that's what I did. I fed in the center, I guess. I think I just dumped everything. A bunch of mites in between the avocado skins which I think were frozen when I fed it to them, so I couldn't tear them apart, take them apart. And as we know, mites love avocado skins and avocados. Mm. 
So, mystery is solved. I fed last, last week in the center. Some pot worms as well. No biggie. Since they help to break things down in the bin. Okay. I think I'm going to abstain from feeding them more food since there are, they do need to break these down a little bit more. And they are harder to break down, but that's okay. That's what the mites are for. And they do seem to be around the food. So. So that's good. <clears throat> okay, so that ends that question. Now, because I want to build up the level of the bin, I will put in some moist bedding on top of this food. See, the level is still down. I want to try and get it up to here, which won't take that long, hopefully. Next week or the week after. And then it'll be time to harvest again. So I'm going to try and do a harvest every month. Moist bedding. Yeah, it's building up the, the bed, bedding level is almost there. And they seem to love this bedding. <clears throat> Even though I didn't feed them any food scraps, I'm going to give them a little bit of Um, warm chow. And some neem seed meal. And we are done. We are done for the week. Put this straight on again. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.